Alright, welcome back everybody. We have our final two, which we know which of these are if you've been watching the other videos. Uh, which one it is, I don't know. Um, we have here the Super 7 version of Shadow Weaver, a very sought after figure. And we have the Modulog, which is a very bizarre looking guy. This is, and now we got a lot of red. Well, these random drawing that I did for these worked out pretty good. We had our blue, blue and red boys. We got our almost all red boys, and uh, the first one, which was you know, our oddballs that didn't match. Now well, here we have Modulonk. I see an extra couple hands. I see some odd little accessories. He still has that weird lump of. Lump of plastic for his neck. I wonder if you can switch them out or not. And uh, on the back, you have a blurb about your scientist, Galem Nycroft, also known as Modulok. Pretty nice little artwork. Looks definitely like it came from the she -Ra Oh, yeah, and these are the figures that are from the she cartoon. Crazy how that all worked out. And the good old Shadow Weaver, who's got a couple of wands and a magic effect. And here we got... What was her... what they say her name was? Shadow Weaver was Spell... It wasn't Spellbinder, was she? Or original? Boy, I can't remember. We have to watch the show again. Um, the very sight uh, The very sight of Shadow Weaver continues to fill most individuals with chilling dread. She is pretty terrifying, this evil little thing. Um, curious to how she compares. And we will get to that in just a second. Give me a minute and I'll open these two figures up and we'll take a closer look. Alright, here we have the last two of the Filmation figures out of the package. And um, let's get to Modulok. This guy's big. Could be just the crazy head that he has on. But let's get up and close and personal with Modulonk. Let's zoom in here. You've got these very menacing looking face. And this really goofy looking face. With his little curlies on the top of his head. And his uh, chest armor here. Or his little strappy doos. He's got a little bit of punch of green. He's got some actually sharp claws. Again, these are not kids toys. These are uh, collectible, collectibles for adults, and your kids will poke their eyes out with these. Uh, <laughs> he's got a little, little bit of black going down his legs. He does have three legs, and uh, they're interestingly put together. He's got a little fin on the back. And he works pretty well. Um, takes a little bit to get him posed and standing up straight, but when you do, it works. Um, does this come off, is my question. Oh yeah, you can take that piece off and put one head on if you want. So you can have him with one head, or two. Even his ears are sharp. <laughs> Ow. Oh, it's hard to put pressure on with the ear stabbing in the hand, but I don't know. I, that piece is weird. I do like the double-headed look, though. Again, I do not have Maddie Collector version of Modulok yet. I'm still tracking these guys down little bit by little bit when I find them. Um, he's definitely on one of the ones that I want off my list there. He comes with an extra pair of hands that are slightly more closed than the open palm. And he comes with a mallet and um, a baby bottle nipple, or is it a drill? Maybe it's a laser? I don't remember what this piece is. It's very odd, though. But, but then, he can just pop his hands off and pop these on in their place. This he was a shapeshifter. And they switch out really easy. Pretty good. are really sharp. Slide them to the side. So his articulation is basically the same with a couple of extra additives. 
This head rotates here, and here, and here, where the neck rotates. Got the same shoulders, bicep, elbow, wrist has no hinge because they're, they come out. Does have ab crunch, is way swivel, swivel at the upper thigh, single jointed at the knee. And then he's got a ball joint back here to give this leg a little bit more uh, of a stance. And there's a hinge here. No swivel on this one. You do have swivels on these guys. His feet are on hinges and they don't have rockers on them. But you can get him pretty stable with this. So he's, he's pretty cool. The module looks nice. Um... I will get to Shadow Weaver in just a second. Your noise in the background is because I had to go grab the baby boy. But, uh, let's now continue on with taking a look at Shadow Weaver here. They did provide us with this clear stand that just plugs into the bottom. And we'll get a closer up look. So, here's Shadow Weaver's face. She's got green skin on her hands. And her torso. She has a lot of red. And uh, she's shiny. Uh, I like the face sculpt a lot. And I like what they did with the cape. So she's got, uh, oh, let's see, she's got some head articulation. She can move a little bit up and down. She can move left and right pretty good. Soft plastic on her, on the back of her cowl. Now you can get some, oh, her shoulders are stiff, holy cow. There it goes, though. But you can get her shoulders to go up and down. And they will spin around. They're pretty tight, though. She's got a cut here and a cut here. So basically, she has bicep swivel. And she's got hinge, or sorry, rotating wrists, but no hinges. Which kind of would have been interesting to have. Oh, she does have an elbow bend. And it's nice that her cape's not attached, so you can get a little bit of posability. She's got the diaphragm joint up here on her torso, and she does have a waist swivel, which is hidden by this piece, which I like a lot. No ab crunch, though, but she does get a little bit... a little bit at the diaphragm, and that's really it. And the rest of her is a solid chunk of plastic. She comes with a wand with a green top, which is modeled after the Maddie Collector one, a... Wand with a little yellow flame. And this, I'm gonna guess, is a spell effect. Yeah, maybe you can get... I don't just don't really know where to put it. I mean, you can, I guess, kind of have it sitting... Sitting like so. Because it doesn't fit in her hand. I'm gonna give her this wand, because... Oh, it's a tight fit. It's the other one already went with the other collect or other shadow weaver, which we'll bring out now. It's the Medi Collector, which seems to be a lot taller. Has different articulation. I like the head sculpt on it. It's got the pale skin. See, they connected the cape to the arms, which gave them a more limited movement. So I do like that on Super 7s, that the keep is a separate piece that you can move around. Um, they got a more magic-y using hand on this one. I do like the way that they pulled this off. I like the reds on the original a little bit better. But if you didn't weren't able to get this Shadow Weaver, she was the collector... Or she was the one, if you bought the whole set, she was the freebie that you got. So she was kind of harder to get. Uh, this is a pretty good substitute for that so out of this red lot they're pretty good I really like the Modulock after all after getting them out of the package and um, I really like the Prince Adam I think this was a pretty good wave all around I had very minor QC issues not really a whole lot to yell about um, again it gets me excited for what's to come Conan lines coming the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures are coming from Super 7 the um, Thundercats, of course. Oh my God! When we get, when we finally get the rest of the Thundercats, that's gonna be amazing. And 
Um, I'm going to say it again. Pick up the Thunder of the Barbarian license, Brian. <laughs> you guys at Super 7 need to make me some Hanna-Barbera figures. There's so many other... Or just get a Hanna-Barbera license. I think that would be the greatest thing. Because there's a lot of other characters out there besides just Thunder of the Barbarian. you got Space Ghost and uh, Mitor and... Jeez, there's, there's a ton. I'm, um, anyway, I'll quit babbling. i got to go <laughs> take care of the youngin' that's right now holding on to my finger. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Um, let me know down in the comments which is your favorite out of the Super 7 wave. Um, if you are only grabbing a couple of them, which ones are you looking for? And um, did any of them surprise you? I was surprised by Modulock. Once I got him out of the package, um, he's really cool. And he's going to be fun to play with. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi, I just want to say thank you one more time for checking out this video. And if you're interested in seeing any more, you can click uh, either one of the links that will be over here. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, there will be a button down below where you can do that as well. And again, thank you.